Salagadoola, menchikaboola, bibbidi bobbidi boo. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Kiamani, and welcome back to my channel. So the wig that we are using today is from Super B Wigs, and it comes with a wig cap, some elastic, and some cute little, um, what are those things called? Ponytail holders. Now, we're just going to hop right into it. So I did steal this look from Arrogante. Um, if you don't know who he is, he's like the hottest hairstylist out right now. And he did the real Kyle sister's hair like this. It was so cute. I'm like, I got to take it. So I had previously did half of the wig already off camera just so it would, you know, wouldn't take too long. But look at the hairline. Look how plucked it is. I didn't even pluck it none. It came just like this. So that's super, super lit. Now what you want to start off doing is you just want to part a thin section and put each piece into a ponytail and just connect it it's not hard at all it's just really more so time consuming So the wig did come pre-plucked, like I said, stated previously. It's Brazilian hair, and this is a 360 degree lace wig. Um, also, it is 22 inches, and of course, it's 100% human hair. If you did want to recreate this look on your own, I got these colorful um, rubber bands and like balls. I call them balls. Some people call them bobos or bubbles. The little uh, circular things at the top. I got all of this from Walmart and the pack of rubber bands was a dollar and the balls was a dollar also. So it's a super cheap hairstyle. Um, this is usually done for little kids, but you know, I'm a little kid on the inside. So cute. And to keep this hairstyle as clean as possible, you want to make sure your ponytails um, are as tight as you can get it without actually ripping the hair out of the wig. In total, it probably took me about 30 minutes just to do the rubber band part. Um, so like I said, that's why I did the other side off camera. It is time consuming, it's a little tedious, but it's not hard at all. Anybody can do this. I really liked this um, wig because, and this is actually why I specifically picked this wig for this hairstyle is because the texture of the hair reminds me so much of a natural, of my natural um, curl pattern. It's very, very, very realistic. And it just, it was really cute. It's very good lace. It blended in with my scalp super good. And I just overall think this came out so cute. And this was definitely the perfect wig for it. Once I was all done with the rubber band part, I'm just gonna put the top of that into a ponytail. And this is really just freestyling when you like you put the balls in the hair. It's just, you know, your own personal preference. 
Of course, you don't have to do six rows. You could just, you know, do two, do four. It's just completely up to you. But this wig was so cute. Like when I just can't believe how good it came out. Um, and the hair was very thick from root to tip, very full. Just a really good wig. It's a very, very good investment. If you are thinking about, um, you know, trying to purchase a wig as a beginner, I think Super B offers great custom quality wigs for a great price. Here I'm showing you how the 360 degree lace looks and the inside where um, I do have my bleach knots. Um, and then before you install, you just want to cut your lace and you know, measure it on your head before you actually glue it down just to make sure the placement is good. And after you do that, I use my got to be and I install this wig just how I install my other ones. Now it's very important for you to let this wig dry. Make sure it dries before you actually go out and you know, try to wear this cute little style just because you don't want it to start lifting because the ponytails might be a little tight. So it will be easy for it to lift if it's not all the way dry. Now after I did that, make sure she was 100% dry. I did do me some little, little bitty ba baby hairs. And after we've done all of that, I just sprayed a little bit of water to get my curls back defined. I didn't need no conditioner. I didn't need anything but water to get my curls to go, um, you know, back in this wig. So that's another good thing that I love, that it didn't take long for me to get the curls back. And once that's all done, you are done, sis, period. Uh, I love this so much. So if you did want to pick up this wig, everything on this is going to be in the description box down below. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next one. Mwah.